Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and you're watching The Sitch. Today we're talking about plant-based diets and weight loss. Now I discourage my clients from making weight loss their primary health goal or from adopting eating habits solely aimed at achieving weight loss. But let's be honest, no matter how much I blather on and on about the importance of a plant-based diet for preventing chronic disease and contributing to longevity, it always comes back to the same question. But will it help me lose weight? People are always concerned that eating plant-based means eating more carbohydrates, which means gaining weight. And I don't blame them. The protein-pushing, carbophobic message that is heavily promoted in the weight loss and fitness world is pretty convincing. But I'm here to tell you, if you believe that, you've been brainwashed. Carbs don't make you fat, just like protein doesn't make you skinny. A healthy body weight is the product of balanced food choices and positive behaviors. Any diet out there will help you lose weight. Anytime you focus on controlling your intake or you cut out a major food group, you're inevitably going to lose weight, initially. It's whether or not that weight loss is sustainable that's important. As I mentioned in my video on my predominantly plant-based nutrition philosophy, diets in general actually make people gain weight in the long run. So what works? Adopting a healthful eating pattern that is enjoyable and sustainable. For me, that's predominantly plant-based, and research backs up my choice. So let's get into it. Studies show that vegans and vegetarians generally have lower BMIs than meat eaters. For those who don't know, BMI stands for body mass index, and it's a measure of weight for height. It's not the best tool for measuring body composition, which takes into account fat and muscle, but it is a helpful measurement of general health in large populations. One observational study of 38,000 healthy adults found that vegans have BMIs that are about two points lower than meat eaters. They also identified another trend in the data. Fiber intake was inversely associated with BMI. So the more fiber people ate, the lower their BMI. The meat eaters in this study had much lower fiber intakes than the vegans. And this is to be expected, as fiber, which is found in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, is rich in plant-based diets. Studies consistently show that individuals with higher fiber intakes have lower body weight and gain less weight over time. This is likely due to fiber's ability to provide satiety after meals, aka fullness. Emerging research also suggests that the products of fiber fermentation in the gut provide additional benefits. When the bacteria in your gut breaks down fiber, it produces short-chain fatty acids, which have been shown to decrease liver synthesis of triglycerides and additionally increase satiety by influencing hormones that affect hunger and fullness. An 18-week study of overweight employees with type 2 diabetes in a corporate wellness program showed that a low-fat vegan diet was able to improve body weight, cholesterol, and glucose control without caloric restriction. The participants lost about 6 pounds on average while eating as much food as they wanted and lowered their LDL cholesterol and HbA1c level, which is a marker of diabetes management. Finally, a recent meta-analysis, aka the mother of all studies, combined the results of 12 different experimental trials and found that vegetarian dieters lost significantly more weight than non-vegetarian dieters. In the longer term studies, they also showed that the plant-based dieters were able to keep the weight loss off for over a year. So why do some people think that a low-carb paleo diet is the way to go for weight loss? Well, there are a few reasons. One, when you stop eating carbs, you lose a ton of water weight. When you eat protein, your body has to get rid of the nitrogen you're producing from breaking down amino acids. To do this, the liver converts nitrogen into urea, which is then excreted in the urine. More protein means more urine, which means more water loss. Secondly, carbohydrates are stored in your liver, fat, and muscle cells as a molecule known as glycogen. This happens so your muscles have a quick source of energy when they need it the most. However, glycogen holds onto water. So when you stop eating carbs, you deplete your body of this muscle glycogen and you lose water in the process. Each gram of glycogen is stored with about three grams of water and the average person has about 500 grams of glycogen total. Therefore, the body holds about 3.5 cups of water in its glycogen stores on average. This is basically what happens when bodybuilders talk about cutting. They're dehydrating their muscles. This may be aesthetically pleasing in the fitness competition world, but in real life, it makes your muscles work less efficiently. The next reason a paleo diet may appear to help people with weight loss is due to the filling effect of protein. 
Protein like fiber helps you feel more satisfied after a meal and stay fuller longer than carbohydrates alone. People eating low carb diets typically have a very high protein intake. However, eating a plant-based diet shouldn't mean skimping on protein. A well-planned plant-based diet should include a good source of protein and a high fiber carbohydrate at every meal. Lastly, low carb diets may help people take in less calories initially than plant-based diets due to the behaviors surrounding the consumption of the types of foods in these diets. Think about it this way. When you overeat, what are you usually eating? If the answer is chips, crackers, candy, pastries, or pasta, you're not alone. Carbs are easy to binge on. I mean, think about how many times you've ever cracked open a bag of chips with the intention of having just one serving only to finish off the entire bag. I'll admit it, it's happened to me. Now think about how many times you've ever binged on baked, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Mmm, not so appetizing, right? So it's not necessarily the nutrient itself that may be contributing to weight gain, but the behaviors associated with these types of foods. You can prevent falling into bad eating behaviors, however, by practicing a mindful plant-based diet, or as we call it here in Wits Kitch, predominantly plant-based. Ditching the notion that carbs make you fat and giving yourself permission to eat them regularly is the first step to forming a healthy relationship with this important food group that will ultimately prevent you from overeating and jeopardizing your health goals. So let's sum up what we've learned about plant-based diets and weight loss. Number one, plant-based diets are just as effective as other diets for weight loss and maintenance. Number two, the fiber found in fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains will help you maintain a healthy body weight. Number three, make sure to balance plant-based meals with good sources of plant protein in addition to complex carbs and fat to prevent overeating later. If you're looking for healthy plant-based recipes to optimize your protein and fiber intake, head over to my blog for ideas. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based nutrition information and advice. I'm Whitney. Thanks so much for watching.